Hello and welcome to a brand new year edition of Keeping It Honest. I'm your host, Darren Dukes. Now, to kick off this new year, we're going to start in the world of media. Current TV, which is owned and was owned and operated by Al Gore, has now been sold. You probably know by now Al Jazeera has bought the channel and now plans on to basically getting rid of the current TV branding and making up Al Jazeera America, which will be based in New York City. Now, this is what's going on. And this, and the, at some given point last year, current put itself up for sale according to Al Gore. Al Gore has many offers, including Al, ha, including Al Jazeera, which bought current out for half a billion dollars, according to the AP and several other sources. Now, what you didn't know that Glenn Beck's The Blaze TV also was in on the bidding wars to buy current TV to acquire 60 million viewers. Unfortunately, that failed because Al Gore and again, I am paraphrasing here, says that they want to leave the future of the channel to somebody who has the same type of views as them. No, current is progressive. Uh, uh, excuse me, going back to this conservative. So their viewpoints kind of don't get along according to the vice president, the former vice president, excuse me. Now, this is what's going to happen. We already had Elliot Spitzer, host of that cha the channel's 8 p.m. viewpoint show, step down, and now it is currently hosted by John Fugelsing, who at one time was the host of America's Funny Home Videos. The show on an hour, well, was on an hour after, but the show that's currently lead the progressive primetime blog, The War Room, Jennifer Granholm, she also has plans on stepping down from her show and the weekly show hosted by Gavin Newsom the Gavin Newsom show is also going to be leaving within a couple of weeks the only true show that's going to be on current is the Young Turks with Jake Huger which they said they're going to run about another three more months which then Al Jazeera will have full total control of current TV my opinion on this it's sad to see current go this way. It really is sad. But the ratings never lie. Current TV had 60 million households. Was available in 60 million households. They'd even get past the 50,000 mark. So you know something is strong. And nobody knows where on earth it's on on this channel. I mean, they current was truly independent with only Comcast Universal. My nickname for NBC Universal, owning five percent, and DirecTV owned another five percent. So basically, this I didn't want this to happen, but it did happen. And another reason I'll just throw in there just for the heck of it. Remember Countdown host Keith Overman? Yeah, ever since he got fired and the whole lawsuit and everything else that could possibly happen happened after that. That was another, like, the paramount reason for Current's downfall. So, Current TV, I wish you adieu. And for this edition of Keeping It Honest, I'm Daryl Dukes. Make it a great day, everybody.